In this video, we're going to break down the loot of over 15 million Christmas paper and show you the biggest sample size recorded of how rare a golden present really is or was. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. This video wouldn't have been possible without the help of a Discord member and viewer by the name of Jim Schill, who was able to collect a staggering 16.6 million Christmas paper, and was also kind enough to record it for content creation purposes as well. Now you might be wondering how does one obtain so much Christmas paper, as that's anywhere from 14,000 to 41,000 hours of playtime depending on when the paper was obtained, as Jagex did buff the paper rates times 3 in the second half of the event. Well, Jim likes to run an extra account or two, and at a certain point in time around the Christmas paper event, he was running a whopping 160 accounts. Yeah, that's probably why his resident area is experiencing power issues right now, because he's quite literally a one-man RuneScape factory. Now, whatever your opinion on alt accounts and farming is, it does provide us all with a ginormous sample size to really see how rare the golden presents were and what your chances were at receiving a green Santa hat. So a massive shout out to Jim for assisting me in the creation of this video, as it quite literally would not have been possible without him. And Loot Shark, who was kind enough to also break down his loot for for me, but I'll just consider his account as a sort of extra alt account in this breakdown, aka account 161. And in case you're wondering, the only reason I didn't keep my own Christmas paper is because, well, I was too curious to find out how lucky I'd be every 1000 Christmas paper or so, so that's why I didn't save up any of my own. So we have 161 accounts worth of data. These accounts on average had 519 presents rounded up. The total amount of presents part of this video is 83,534 presents, which is the equivalent of 60,706,800 Christmas paper. Now, while Luchark was kind enough to break down the experience he got, that's going to be different for everyone based on your own levels, and the tokens are pretty much worthless. We're going to take a look at how many presents we received, or I shouldn't say we, they received per tier. The lowest tier of present is the white present, and 37,356 of these presents were obtained in total. This is, rounded, around 44.72% of the total amount of presents. The blue presents seem to be the most common tier of present, at 42,006 presents in total, being around 50.29% rounded up of the total amount of presents. We then come to the rarer purple presents, of which 4,150 were received in total, being around 4.97% of the total amount of presents. Again, this is rounded. And finally, out of 83,534 presents, only 22 gold presents were obtained, which is only rounded 0.03% of the total amount of presents. The exact percentage of golden presents compared to the total amount of presents is 0.0263%, meaning the golden presents drop rate is 1 in 3,797, or to make it simple, let's just round it up, 1 in 3,800 presents. Judging by this sample size, that means you're going to need, or needed, 759,400 Christmas paper to get one golden present, which is the equivalent of 633 to 1899 hours of play, depending on when you obtained your Christmas paper. Out of the 22 golden presents obtained, he received 12 green Santa hats and 10 times 50 million coins. Now, even though this isn't an even split, I'm inclined to believe that the chance of you receiving a green Santa hat from a golden present is one in two if you're a normal account since there's only two rewards. Regardless though, we're going to continue with the data we have available to us right here, which would mean you would have to open 6,961 presents <laughs> to get a green Santa hat. So let's say 7,000 presents. Now 6,961 presents is around 1,160 to 3,481 hours of play, excluding treasure hunter rewards. That is bizarre. On average, this would mean you would have to play for 11 hours a day on 10 accounts simultaneously throughout the 21 day lasting event, excluding the chance of receiving the green Santa hat from lower tiered presents and treasure hunter Christmas paper. Now, I would have included this drop rate in the video as well, however, due to Jim's plans, I'm not currently able to share the drop rate of the green Santa hat from lower tiered presents. 
I will be sharing this information in the description or in a pinned comment in the future as soon as Jim has opened those presents. If you're wondering why he hasn't already, it's because he wants to save them up to use for XP boosts as they drop lamps and stuff as soon as he makes some of those out members. I'd be willing to bet he'd get at least 5 more green sand hats from all of those presents. Now there's one other large sample size on Reddit which even breaks down the common loot where he did a total of 5,466 presents and only received one golden present. If you're interested in his loot and Reddit post, I'll leave a link down in the description below. But with that being said, we've come to the end of this video and honestly, it's pretty cool to have seen how rare these golden presents and green sand hats really were. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did and if you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.